This is brought to you by the Alumni Association of PISJES. Hey guys, we will be continuing our lecture on microwave screw gauge that we where we left our lectures last time. So let's do some review. Screw gauge. Okay. Let's do some review. First of all, the accuracy of a micrometer screw gauge is 0 0.01 millimeters or 0 0.001 centimeters. It depends on the unit of your reading. If your micrometer screw gauge says centimeters on uh, the sleeve, then you can take this one. Otherwise, you will be saying that we will be using this one. And usually, you will you will be using the one in the millimeters because uh, uh, the micrometer screw gauge very rarely says a centimeter on the sleeve reading. So this is the accuracy of a micrometer screw gauge. How to measure? Just a quick review. First, uh, take the sleeve reading. The sleeve reading is taken by counting the marks on that that are visible on the sleeve or on the main scale. So that becomes our reading here. And next in line comes the thimble reading. For the thimble reading, we find out the mark that coincides with the datum line on the main scale. That becomes our mark. We write it down here. And I'm a fan of writing, so yes, we will have to write it down. That mark is multiplied by the accuracy of the micrometer screw gauge and then it becomes a thimble reading. So if you're still not sure, well, we are going towards the examples. Okay, towards the examples. Now, I'm using this Java applet here and it's very easily accessible you can just write micrometer screw gauge on Google and you'll be right here so this is the place this is the anvil this is the spindle this is the sleeve this is the thimble and this is the ratchet so you attach an object here and you tighten it by rotating it like this like this you rotate it like this this is movable and when it's fixed you just turn the ratchet once to make sure that equal and proper pressure is applied and not more than that so that it doesn't alter the reading the pressure doesn't alter the reading so let's take our first example just randomly right here okay let's see first of all first things first the main scale reading or the sleeve reading the rule for the main scale reading look at the points that you are able to see first one and each point on the top the denotes 1 millimeter and each point in the bottom denotes 0 0.5 millimeter. So 0, 0 0.5, 1, 1 1.5, 2, 2.5, 3, 3.5 and 4. So we can get to 4 and I cannot, I'm not able to see the 4.5th mark. So our main scale reading becomes 4 millimeters. Now moving on to our symbol scale reading. Now, this is the thimble scale and it's rotatable. So, the rule for the thimble scale is to check the line, the datum line, and find out which point it coincides with exactly. So, this is the point it coincides with. This is 25. But 25 is not our reading, it is just the mark. So, you will always write 25th mark. Now, multiply this with the accuracy, which is 0 0.01 millimeters on a uh, a micrometer screw gauge this will give you 0 0.25 millimeters now final reading would just be main scale reading plus thimble scale reading which will be 4 plus 0 0.25 you can use your calculators here but I don't think you need to it's just simply 4.25 millimeters and you can see we have added an a uh, a digit of accuracy to our 
readings remember that we that we can only go to the second place if we are measuring in millimeters we can only go to the second decimal place we can we are still not sure about the third one so if you are getting a third decimal place in the in using by using a micrometer screw gauge you are definitely doing something wrong or the reading is a little inaccurate so avoid having a third decimal place otherwise it would just ruin the purpose of the micrometer screw gauge again so let me go to the second example in the color of the chalk example number two We'll be using the same Java applet, but we'll just change the readings here and there. Okay. Now, here it is again. First of all, the main scale reading. The main scale reading can be found out by counting the marks here. The top ones denote the one. 0.1 millimeters mark and the bottom ones not the 0.05 millimeters mark so this becomes 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and I can see this little guy here so this would be 8.5 millimeters as you can see from here so the main scale reading is 8.5 millimeters now for the thimble scale thimble scale reading is again looking at the datum line and finding out the point it lies the mark it coincides with here it's not coinciding with the mark really okay so what happens when it's not coinciding with a mark really uh, you never take the reading in between if it's between 12th mark and the 13th mark it's never 0 0.125 and I disagree with this here because personally I'll tell you why but it becomes inaccurate because this will give me a third decimal place which I cannot measure from a micrometer screw gauge so personally what I do here is that I always take the lower one okay to maintain the accuracy because I cannot find it's exactly like telling me by seeing on a scale that a reading is 0 0.12 since I do not know exactly where it lies I'm not sure it's halfway so I cannot just say it's 0 0.125 it can be 0 0.124 or 0 0.123 or 0 0.126 so that is why I avoid using the third digit so it would be good if you avoid it too and just keep it to the two decimal places that you can accurately find so uh, this is between the 12th and the 13th mark so I will take this is this is 10 this is 11 and this is 12 so I always take the lower one so be on the safe side and take the lower one this is the 12th mark times the accuracy which is 0 0.01 millimeters this will give you 0 0.12 millimeters now main scale plus thimble scale will give you the final reading so 8.5 main scale plus thimble scale which is 0 0.12 oh sorry this is 0 and this is 0 point this would be 1 and this would be 2 this would give me 8.62 millimeters this would be 8.62 millimeters the final reading okay so let's move on to the third example and we'll do four examples in, in this video lecture there's one more thing I wanna tell you guys for example let me just rotate it like this the point like this Sometimes this this kind of a case will uh, will be in front of you when this is the example number three. Okay, what's up with me? So uh, sometimes this kind of a case will 
be in front of you when you will not be able to judge it quite correctly because of the uh, yeah, some of the you know parallax errors but let me tell you what you do in those kind of situations for example right now let's look at the main scale reading first the procedure is the same the main scale reading first and it is 5 this is 5 this is 6 this is 7 this is 8 this is 8.5 sometimes if you feel that when you'll be using an, act, an, act, uh, an actual micrometer you might be able to see a little bit of this reading and you will be asking yourself whether this should be considered or not you might be able to see the ninth mark here but you will not be able to see it as clearly as you can and uh, see this mark so whenever that happens always look at the thimble if it is on the higher side of the readings it's if it's above the 25th mark of its readings that means that the ninth mark here has not been reached and you were just being able to see it and uh, because of some of the errors in by you know if you're just trying too hard to see that mark it has not been reached so you will not take it as 9 it, you, it will be 8.5 why because you have reached the higher side of the readings however if you are able to I'm not able to show it to you right now here because it is not as accurate but if you're being if you're able to see the ninth mark here and it is the lower degrees that you are able to see on the thimble scale for example 0 to 25 you are you are seeing 10 11 12 13 here then that means that it has been crossed so always remember if you see a fooling mark here something that is fooling you here you are not sure whether to consider it or not check out the thimble scale if it is in the higher orders then yes uh, sorry then uh, it hasn't been crossed it's still the one before one before that fooling mark here the reading would be 8.5 however if it is on the, the lower degrees of the readings then this mark has been crossed and you will take 9 as your main scale reading right now it's 8 and 8.5 millimeters the main scale reading and for the thimble scale we'll check the datum here and this is again crossing the, this is 35 this is 36 this is 37 and this is between 37 and 38 so as per our rule I will always take the one the lower mark of the two 37 and 38 so I will take this 37th mark and multiply it with the accuracy of a micrometer screw gate <coughs> excuse me so this becomes 0 0.37 millimeters now add the two 8.5 plus 0 0.37 sorry my battery is low this becomes 8.87 millimeters right here the final reading and one more example before we are done with this so just a final example so that you guys have a hang on it just take let's take it somewhere here now let's talk about the main scale reading again we are pretty much done with the easier part and we can just calculate it right here so this is one two 2.5 and I'm not sure whether I should consider this reading if you can see this carefully I am not sure whether you can consider it whether I'm seeing it actually or not or I'm being you know I'm I'm being fooled by this reading so let's see the thimble scale the thimble scale is on the lower part of its turns it's on the lower part of part of this reading it's between it's 0 and 5 so the rule says that yes consider this reading if it's on the lower part of the thimble scale the yes consider the fooling mark on the main scale so we are considering the fooling mark fooling mark says 3 millimeters and on the uh, thimble reading thimble scale 
I just showed Vs as in varying scale, but I just forgot we were doing maximum discrete. So the thimble scale, this line coincides with a zero. So our thimble scale reading is zero millimeters. This means that the final reading would always be main scale plus thimble scale, which means three plus zero, which gives us three point double zero millimeters. And we can write it with accuracy because we can attain the accuracy of the two decimal places here. So I hope you guys understood this. If there is any problem as yet, just write it on the comment section and I'll be looking forward to it. Uh, thanks for watching guys.